Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Pavin. I'm an Olympian and beach volleyball world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. Looks like we're gonna get our like rematch, head-to-head -head matchup of Karasuno and Seijo. Um, last episode, Seijo and Date Tech went head-to-head -head and Seijo won pretty handily. We got to meet the Dateko first year setter who is very very tall um but he was pretty raw so date tech is in like a bit of a rebuilding phase but seijo is looking solid as always so we're moving on in the tournament and kirasuno is gonna take on the great king and his team so Really hoping, I know last episode I discussed, like we know that Kirasuno made some really big improvements, but I'm curious to see what Seijo has done or changed or improved or whatever. So today, I think we're gonna check it out. I don't know. Sometimes my predictions are completely wrong, but I think we're gonna watch this match. Um, we're gonna check out Q season two, episode 20, Wiping Out. Oh, the electricity. He's so immature. She's going to be terrified of him. Mad dog, oh dear. Did he even play in the game against Datiko? Oh. 
Oh my gosh, okay. I love them. I love that they support the team. He'll never tell them that, though. <laughs> これは餃子追加で入れるだけサーブもダメな。ほら、1年も頼んどけ。待てんか。うん。かつて折られた翼はいいえ。カラスは一回りも二回りも強くなりました。この日のために鍛えてきた体と技と心を思う存分発揮して
No, now that Noya knows how to set. Ha! Oh, baby. Nice. <laughs> well, I love how I love how they're the ones who are the most surprised that it worked. That was a very good surf. The thing is, is like sometimes even when you miss a serve, it can be, it can still be a really good serve. Like missing in the net is probably like the worst kind of miss. But if you are really going for it and the person has to like decide if it's in or out, they're not sure and it like just misses, like that's a, that is still a really good serve. But also, yeah, Oikawa never misses his serve, and he's the only one who ever happens to actually serve against Karasuno. So, shocker. Kuni me. Oh, oh, stop it. Your team's doing great. They've both gotten better. Nice dig. Cover! Yes, Suki! Oh man. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my gosh, I'm about to pass out. This is gonna be, this is gonna really make my nerves fray, I think. This match is gonna get me. Um, okay, everyone is dialed in. It looks like more of the Seijo players have also been working on their serves. That's gonna be tricky. I also love how Oikawa tried to get into Daichi's head before the game and like right off the bat he was like, boof, I'm gonna pass a perfect ball on your great serve. Hmm. Daichi is like, he flies under the radar, but like he means business and I love that. Um, okay. I need to like compose myself before I dive back in because this is gonna take a lot out of me. Just in time for a commercial, perfect. <laughs> oh, Yachi, oh. Yeah, you, he needed to relax. Well, both of them. What? I don't know anything. Oh, Daichi again. Don't mess with him. Okay. Kunimi! Kagama hates Kunimi. He's following him. Tip it. Oh. That's actually really normal. Um, as you progress in volleyball and there's just like so many moving parts and the offense is fast and like the hitters can hit every direction, there's usually a plan in place of like which space the block is gonna try to take and which space the defense is gonna take. And so to make it work and like a basic of block defense is that the defender always has to make sure that they're around the outside of the block. Because if you're standing behind the block, like the ball, if the block is doing their job, the ball won't come to you. So as a defender, you always wanna make sure that you position your body so you can see the hitter like from around 
where the block is, and that's what they did. The blocker decided that he was gonna block the diagonal or cross court hit, leaving just a narrow alleyway of line open for the defender, and he did his job. So yeah, that's, uh, as teams get better, that's something that's very normal and is always talked about. It's the tears your arms off server. <laughs> Always in the big moments. Gosh, thank gosh. That was a good serve, though. Gosh, it looked like his shoulder was going to rip right off. He doesn't have to try anything spectacular, just do his normal serve. Yes. Yes. Don't try to do too much. Oh. Okay. Side out. Pass and set. Oh my gosh, is it Iwazumi serving? Mad Dog is coming in now? Oh. Oh my gosh, he's so scary. Okay. 
Nobody even moved. Oh. Okay, so is that a good thing or a bad thing? Because Mad Dog just like pushed Kendaichi out of the way. Sure, his swing was amazing, but I think like every single person on the court was just shocked. <laughs> like, Karasuno didn't even move for it, and then I don't know if his own team expected that. Like, what? I mean, great swing, but even like what Takeda said, it's like when you add in another gear, like everything stopped. So, <laughs> I don't know what to think. Um, but anyways, Looks like I think we're tied up at 24 now. So we'll see how this first set ends. <sighs> Yikes. Um, Karasuno's playing much better. I think it's very obvious that, you know, um, Kageyama's serve is better. The connection between Kageyama and Hinata is better. Um, Hinata's decision making, um, Suki's blocking, Noya's setting, like Daichi is stepping up in, in serve receive. So, this is definitely what I was expecting and I'm really excited about it. I'm like holding my breath these entire, like these rallies are so long and I'm holding my breath the whole time. So I'm gonna like pass out. So if I drop out of the camera, you know why. Um, but okay, I am proud of them. We're off to a good start. So we're gonna obviously have to see what happens next. But hit me up in the comments, um, let me know your thoughts, and as always, I would love it if you'd like this video, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned so we can keep watching this Kar uh, Karasuno and Seijo match because it is spicy.